Okay, so I'm going to be showing you what my settings are for streaming on to Twitch. Uh, the streaming uh, capabilities are going to be from the PlayStation 3. That's plugged into my Elgato HD. And that's going to be using the OBS Open Broadcasting software. So as you can see on the screen here, uh, I have the OBS software turned on. I'm going to go to settings. And I'm going to show you exactly what uh, the settings are. This isn't perfect because I do have an older computer. It's a uh, first generation i7 uh, uh, CPU. And it is running on a single core at 2.6 uh, megahertz or gigahertz um, and so these are my settings and these work fine for streaming at 1080p 30 frames per second however it does not look very crisp but it's the best that i could get them at uh, general settings uh, are really important here um, as you can see here i have uh, the twitch streaming service that's every it's gonna be different for everybody uh, my output settings. Now, here we go. I have the encoder set to uh, a, uh, X264. Um, I have the enforced streaming service encoder settings enabled. Um, I have the rescale output disabled here. So there's no rescaling to be done. Uh, the rate control CBR. That's constant bit rate. I have it set at the maximum that Twitch currently allows for regular accounts at 3500 and we have uh, everything else set as you see it on screen the CPU usage I'm assuming a lot of people will be able to use these better um, speeds down here my CPU processor is not the fastest it's not the most efficient it's not not the newest so I have it set to super fast right now and that's the best I have uh, as far as performance goes um, so it gives me the best bang for my buck uh, a friend a friend of mine that I'm doing this video for Rick he'll probably have somewhere down here um, ha his computer will be able to handle somewhere over here uh, because he does have a much, much newer and better computer. Um, as far as the audio goes, I have different mic inputs set up for it. Uh, the video, here's another spot where you want to make sure you have it set. Uh, my base canvas is set to 1080p, which is the 1920 by 1080 resolution. Uh, output, it's not scaled because it, I have it set so that it doesn't... Um, have to take that extra step in processing of rescaling the image. So there's no extra processing done there. It's still at the same resolution, 1920 by 1080. Um, the downscale filter, I have it set to the highest quality that I can have, which is uh, the Lasko Sharpen Scaling 32 samples. That's, that gave me a little bit better uh, quality than the other values. Um, and the common first person uh, values, um, or I'm, I'm sorry, I said first person, I meant frames per second. The common frame per second values are set to 30, uh, which is uh, the best I could do with the current configuration I have. Now, my configuration for my desktop right now is probably very similar to a lot of laptops out there. So this will probably work for people that are using laptops to stream off of an Elgato to OBS and onto Twitch. Uh, everything else, I think, um, let's see. Oh yeah, this, this is important, the, the advanced uh, settings here. Uh, process priority I have mine set to high that way uh, the OBS uh, has the highest priority as far as processing goes with my computer rendering I have an NVIDIA card uh, GTX 960 and so I have it set to my render being the direct 3d 11 so uh, color format NV12 which I believe is the standard uh, or default set on here the yuv color space i bumped it up from 601 to 709 
and the YUV color range, I set it to full because I noticed that there really wasn't very much of a performance difference uh, when bumping this up and it gave me slightly better colors as far as the image quality goes. Um, everything else I think is set to default. Uh, as far as I can see. So uh, there you have it. These are the settings that I have for my experience using Elgato to OBS to Twitch. So that's how I stream. That's how it's done. That's how that's the best my particular CPU can handle. Again, the CPU I have is a 2.6 gigahertz first generation i7. Uh, with uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, I have noticed when I'm using this uh, while streaming and having one internet window up with Chrome, it does go up to uh, 86% of CPU usage. So it is something that's going to have to uh, be uh, used only as is so not too many other windows not too many other programs open at the same time as it is right here with just uh one window of um of chrome or your internet browser plus obs and that's it nothing more nothing less and it can uh barely handle that uh, uh, the image quality is not as great as I would like it to be, but I'm sure if you have a better processor or maybe even the same clock speed, but if you had a, a dual core or a quad core processor in your particular computer, you can probably go to the uh, output settings here and change this particular one to something a little higher if, if you're going to get uh, better compression uh, out of your video so there you have it those are my particular settings for streaming using this configuration from uh, ps3 to elgato to the obs open broadcasting software uh, onto twitch uh, if you have a, your particular con uh, configuration i would like to see it also um I'm very curious to see what other people get as well to get the best performance out of their streaming setup. Thanks a lot. And remember, enjoy your games, love your families. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, and Instagram, all at keyword Daddy's Game Time, or just check out our website, www.daddysgametime.com. I'm Leo. Until next time, see you soon.